Hello, my fellow Pisces. I hope you're doing fabulous today. Thank you for being here. Let's get right into your reading. Pisces, if you are here, you're meant to be. So let's find out why, shall we, Pisces? So I enjoy some slapstick comedy. So why wouldn't I, as a tarot reader, have a ridiculously large deck? Okay. <laughs> I said deck. Okay. <laughs> okay, I need to stop. Okay, Pisces, who am I connecting with today? <laughs> I just put all these decks together just for funsies, you know, so I could just struggle shuffle in front of you and embarrass myself, you know, but no, um, let's get into it. Pisces, who am I connecting with? Who is in your energy? What is happening? What is going on? So the first card that comes out is the, f I got this card for you out of all these cards. There's probably like 300 cards here. This one came out and it came out in the last reading I did for you. If everything around seems dark, look again, you may be the light. Okay, Pisces, you're underestimating yourself. Okay, what else we have? We have pride. You don't have enough pride. Okay. <laughs> we got, you're the shit. Don't be insecure. Oh my God, I'm totally connected to a Pisces who doesn't, who doesn't comprehend your magnificence. Okay, let's see what else. Somehow I just, yeah, I, somehow I just know that you're worth way more than you even realize, or you can do way more than you even realize. All right. Five of Pentacles, Page of Cups. I want to get a few more before I say anything. We have this image with this person with snakes in their eyes or a snake in their eyes. In a room full of art, I'd still stare at you. That's what this card says. It's just kind of hard to see because it's so small. The font is. And we have the King of Wands, Fire Sign Energy. So you could be dealing with Fire Sign. You don't have to be. So there's a couple messages here. First of all, you don't realize your worth. You don't realize what you're capable of. You don't realize the magic that you have. There's something here that you've been trying to, I'm channeling, but there's something here that you've been trying to accomplish, manifest, but it's missing that little extra oomph, that oomph. How, how do you say that oomph, oomph? You know what I'm saying, but, <laughs> but it's missing that because you are hitting a wall and that wall, that block, is not realizing what you're worth. It's like, it's like you could be presented with whatever it is you're manifesting right now, but I feel like whoever I'm connecting with, you would back away from it because you don't realize that you deserve it. You don't realize that you're capable of fully owning that shit. You know what I'm saying? So don't let your dreams pass you by. Don't let these this, these opportunities, these people pass you by because you don't realize what you can do. Somebody here just really, 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 really underestimates themselves. I'm telling you. Okay. And it could have something to do with this other message here, this King of Wands energy, male or female, don't mind the gender of the card. <sighs> Somebody's been lying to you. Uh, somebody has been I want to say kind of love bombing, but also it's like gaslighting, bread, bread crumbing kind of energy. It's like, yeah, in a room full of art, I'd still stare at you. I mean, I'm not saying that you're not worthy of such amazing quotes, but I'm just saying that this person might tell you what you want to hear. And it's like this energy in your life, it holds you back in some way. For somebody here, it holds you back. So there's there might be a need to, you know, confront this, look at this area of your life at this person. I mean, this could even be, you know, going back to this pride card, you not having enough ego, enough pride, not realizing that you're the art, you know, lying to yourself with this, this image with the snakes or the, I keep saying snakes. There's only one snake in the eyes here. Deceiving yourself. Somebody, there's lies. There's de definitely deceit in this energy. A couple different things. It could be you lying to yourself but it could also be this other energy lying to you. Somebody trying to weasel their way back in. That's a, that's, a, that's a, exactly how I want to say it, weasel their way back in. And I keep hearing they just want to get in their in your pants. They just want to get in your pants because apparently your 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 loving is divine and they just want to get back into it. Uh, so watch out for that because I feel like this is an energy who would just get what they want and then just leave. So you might be dealing with somebody like that right now you could have dealt with somebody like that. They're going to come back around 
watch out because they could come in at a certain time where you are leveling up in some way you are you know manifesting something but then they come in and just kind of block it they kind of you know get in the way you might get tempted by it or something like that because again I, whoever i'm talking to it's like you seek some kind of um i don't want to say seek approval it's like you don't see yourself the way you need to be seeing yourself and you seek approval from people like this people who want to hold you back when you just need to look at you just need to seek your own approval okay does that make sense so don't let figures like this hold you back don't let negative thoughts hold you back i know this sounds wrong because you know that in the spiritual community you know whatever they tell you to let go of the ego no somebody here needs to have more of an ego <laughs> i'm just saying there's nothing wrong with having an ego by the way it's just it's temporary you know you come into this life like for example I came into into this life to be Chelsea for a little while. I love being Chelsea. I'm gonna fully enjoy being Chelsea while I'm here. You know what I'm saying? So why not enjoy who you are fully, uh, accept what you're capable of, do what you gotta do, do what you wanna do, as long as you're not hurting anybody, and go for it. Just go all in because you're only you for a little while. And then you, you know, you reincarnate and you're somebody else and you get to enjoy that experience. So why not enjoy what you have going on right here, right now? Don't keep yourself in a bubble because on this somehow I just know there's a bubble on the card. It kind of blends in with the coloring so you may not be able to see it too well. But <clears throat> don't bubble yourself up. Somehow I just know. And yet I'm going to keep myself in a bubble because I'm scared. I'm not capable. You know, this person, this king of wands, they told me that I'm, I'm a piece of shit. So that must be true. You know, they treated me like I was a piece of shit. So that must be true. You know what I'm saying? So don't let that kind of stuff hold you back. You know, even if, if this is a past energy, those past experiences can still haunt us and keep us and hold us down. Don't let these people have power over you anymore. Okay, that, that's over with. That's done. So you are the light in the dark. Okay, remember that. Own it. Do it. Be it. Okay, so we have, you deserve the same love you give everyone else. There we go, Pisces. There we go. So this could have something to do with love. You know, with the Page of Cups there, maybe you're wanting new love. But you're afraid it's going to be the same old shit. Okay. You deserve the love that you give everyone else. And I think, <clears throat> I think this balance comes in whenever you have a little bit more ego <laughs> you know set some boundaries don't put up with people's shit don't settle be an asshole <laughs> no not really don't like i said don't hurt anybody but sometimes it's okay to be an asshole somebody here needs that confirmation that reassurance if you feel like an asshole telling somebody no it's okay just be an asshole it's fine you know that song by, by dennis leary I'm an asshole. Yeah. <laughs> Listen to it. It might inspire you. <laughs> okay, so we have cancer. Okay. Um, it says charismatic, passionate, ruled by the moon and the breasts. Okay, so maybe somebody here has some rocking tits. Okay, so may maybe if that's confirmation that this could be your message. No, <laughs> I'm just joking. Um, we have to laugh. We have to have fun, right? Um, but the moon, cancer, emotions charismatic passionate you have a lot you have so much love to give whoever i'm connecting with you deserve the same love you give everybody else damn it pisces now you're gonna make me cry all right because whoever i'm connecting with you've had it rough but now's your time but it starts with you having more pride more ego <laughs> i'm telling you i know that's probably the opposite of what you've heard in other channels but no you need more ego be an asshole listen to that song <laughs> uh, but no whenever i say that i don't mean like walk all over people be mean to people um i just mean standing up for yourself knowing what you deserve okay and and allowing that in <laughs> because i feel like i'm talking to a pisces who it's like i said earlier it's like you could have exactly what you want right in front of you but you want to back away from it because there's something in you that tells you that you're not worthy, that it's, you know, it's too good to be true. It could never happen to you. You know, it's only going to go wrong. You know, that kind of energy. Cut that out. It's, it, you're more than worth it. Okay. I just, I can't shake the feeling that you've dealt with somebody or possibly multiple people in your life who have held you back in some way. Um, 
possibly from like childhood trauma, like maybe making you feel like you were never good enough, making you feel like your dreams were, were stupid or, you know, whatever. And I, I'm thinking particularly in a relationship where somebody, where you kept giving, 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 and they never gave back. They never gave you that same love back. So it kind of left you feeling like you were unlovable, that you were unworthy. That is not true. That is so far from the truth, Pisces. Okay, that's something that you need to remember, that you need to believe in yourself or believe about yourself. More pride. <laughs> and we have infinite. Okay. All right. And we have trust the timing. It's going to work out. Infinite. Trust the timing. It may feel like it's been forever. But I go back to somehow I just know. You know that there's more. Maybe that's why you keep trying over and over again. Even with these freaking assholes. You know, assholes in the bad way. <laughs> But it's time. Your time is coming, okay? And it starts with you. You loving yourself. You having more pride, more ego. And in the good way, not where it's like overpowering everybody, you know? Not in the negative sense where you turn into a complete narcissist. Not that I think that would happen to you, but I'm just saying. It's got to be that balance. But I feel like, you know, you're about, you're, you, you need more ego, okay? You're off balance when it comes to that. Okay, so we have miss your love with love crossed out and body wrote, written there. What did I just say? It's like somebody wants to come back in because they want your loving, right? So watch out for that. Somebody, they may come on like they, they miss you, they want you. Oh, they just love you so much. Oh, you're, you're the love of my life, Pisces. You know, maybe you've gone through this a million times. But it's just that they want something from you, whether it's your body, you know, the physical stuff, or it's, you know, for some of you, it could be money, it could be anything. But it's just they want something, okay? This, whoever this is, it's like they are very self serving, okay? We have memories. Don't romanticize this person because I feel like whenever the time, good times were good, they were really good. And it's, it's easy to romanticize that and want to chase that feeling with them again, right? Don't do that. Cut that out. Because whenever the bad times were bad, they were really bad, weren't they, Pisces? Okay, you don't want to go through that again. Because I feel like if you were to, you know, do the same thing, repeat the process with this person or somebody like this, you're just going to find yourself in the same situation. Okay, and it all, again, it all comes back to how you love yourself, how you view yourself. We have illusion, <laughs> memories with illusion, what I just said. Don't romanticize it. Don't, don't feed yourself illusions that it could be good. It could be good like it was whenever it was the best all the time. Because, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say it was probably more bad than it was good. <laughs> you know, that just, that's something I'm picking up on. It's just that this person has a way of... Or this type of per this type of person, because like I said, it could be more than one. This could even be a warning that this type of person could could come back in, okay? And that's where you need that boundary. You need that pride to protect yourself from these types of people. And I mean, no judgment on them. They're on their own journey. I'm not hating on anybody. I just, you know, you don't deserve to be treated that way, okay? They need to get their shit together, okay? If they wanna if they wanna have anybody like you. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, uh, back to this. How do I even remember what I was saying? <laughs> Memories, illusion. Don't convince yourself that, you know, what they're saying is, is true. That, it, you know, if they're love bombing you, all that kind of stuff. You know what I was saying. I don't even know. <laughs> rewind. I can't rewind. <laughs> so we have hold on. We have Queen of Cups. If somebody here, for some of you, water sign energy, don't mind the gender of the card. Some of you here, this, whatever this energy is, it really can't let you go. And it makes me want to go back to what I said about you just really loving very deeply. And you know, a lot of these narcissistic type people, they, they, um, they feed off of that attention, you know. And your attention was very yummy, juicy, because you had so much of it to give, or you have so much of it to give. So that's why you need to watch out for these types of people. That is why you need to have more of an ego, 
to protect yourself from these types of people. Even if you're not dealing with anybody like this right now, I worry that if you don't worry, or if you don't fix this, if you don't work on that, your pride, your ego, your boundaries, you could end up in a similar situation. Again, you don't want to be caught up in that loop, okay? There is more ahead of you. There is the love that you want ahead of you. But whoever I'm connecting with today, you need to have more ego, <laughs> you know? Um, don't be afraid to be an asshole sometimes. And, it, and it's not that whenever you set a boundary, you're an asshole. <laughs> but I know how it is where you feel like an asshole. You feel guilty for setting a boundary. Don't feel guilty, it's okay. Because you don't want to come across someone who's just going to take advantage of you, you know, get what they want and then leave. Sorry, I keep hitting the mic. Uh, you know, you know what I'm saying. Okay, so we have take the risk or lose the chance. Okay, what's that about? We have intuition. We have temperance, Sagittarius energy. We have sadness. Take the risk or lose the chance. Temperance, intuition, sadness. So this could be, you know, everything that I've just been saying about you having more ego to avoid any potential sadness. Um, but this could be also something else. It's like a missing out on something because of this lack you feel. Who, again, whoever I'm connecting with today, you don't realize what you've got. You've got it. You've got it all. You just, you need to realize that yourself because, you know, there could be an opportunity, a new person coming in, but you may hold yourself back from it because you don't believe that you deserve it. You don't believe that you're worth it. And you are. We have six of cups, something from your past. We have the two of wands. We have the Knight of Cups. One more. We have Leo, so confident, charming, ruled by the sun, the heart. Okay. So this, you know, it could be a Leo coming in. Doesn't have to be, but somebody with uh, these kind of qualities, confidence, charming. I'm thinking this is tied to that King of Wands. So it's like a loop, something's looping around here. It could be somebody from your past, you know, somebody somebody trying to get something from you, or it could be somebody like that. But you're being asked to choose a different path with this Two of Wands. Don't go back into that, whether this is somebody you know already or somebody new who has similar energy, you know what I'm saying? Don't settle. Don't settle. There's a warning here. Don't do that. And I think that's why there's so much em emphasis in this reading about you having more ego, more pride, not being afraid to be an asshole. <laughs> um, because there's somebody coming in and it, and it breaks, it, whenever this comes in, this person comes in, new or old, you telling this person no, not falling for their love bombing, you know, you'll know. You've been through it, you know. You'll feel it in your heart. Once you cut that out, once you you say no, that opens up a new timeline for you where you're not caught in that kind of cycle with those same types of people, you know? Okay. So I'm going to leave the reading here, Pisces. All right. That was fun. <laughs> but I feel like, you know, as I was channeling, I kind of... You know, one of the ways I like to read is with a big deck of cards like that, and you just kind of pull the cards over, like keep pulling as you're like, you're kind of like you're having a conversation with the cards. And sometimes I kind of lose track as I'm channeling the messages. So hopefully everything made sense. Um, I'm going to leave this here. If you enjoyed the reading or if it resonated, leave some banana emojis in the comments below. I do offer personal readings. So if you're interested in a personal reading, you can email me at bananachipstarot at protonmail.com. It's also in the description box. Like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.